guys welcome to my channel today I will be talking about press on nails but not just any ordinary press on nails but static nails reusable press on manicures static nails is a company that is cruelty free and also vegan friendly they have a huge selection of nail polish and also a huge selection of pop on nails they have so many different designs and they also have different shapes as well so they got square they got round they got coffin they got almond they got all of that and i just wanted to share my review with you guys i remember when i was younger i always used to beg my mom to buy me press on nails but she would always tell me it's not worth it they look cheap and ugly and it's just not worth it at all and i remember when i bought my first set of press on nails which was back in high school and i guess my mom was right um they were very cheap the quality was just horrible and i don't know why but i chose the ugliest design ever so they were white just like my nails right now but the tips were all black and they had like two lines going down but anyways just picture that in your head and what i can picture right now is just ugly and so here we are right now and i think the world has come so far from what press on nails were back in the day so i know a lot of nail artists right now have gone into the root of creating their own press on nails because they're not able to do anybody's manicure so press on nails did make a comeback and they are better than ever and i want to say that they have been thriving through this pandemic now i personally haven't bought anyone's press on nails but i am 100 percent sure that people can vouch that they have come so far from what they used to be back in the day and what they're probably selling at walmart i currently have one of the sets on and these are the coconut rounds and i am in love with them so before i show you guys what my nails are looking like right now let's go through the process of applying them again this is the coconut round set this set comes with 24 nails in 12 different sizes glue and a filer the length is on the shorter side with a round top and from what i can see they are pretty sheer prior to applying the nails i buff my nails and push my cuticles back i also made sure that my hands and nails were clean and didn't use any lotion or oils beforehand i did have some trouble finding the nails that fit best they were either too narrow and when i tried the next size down they were too narrow looking back i wish i shaped the whole nail to make sure that it fits perfectly each pack of nails does come up with its own tube of glue but static nails kindly slipped in their brush on nail glue which was a game changer Compared to using the tube of glue, the brush on glue evenly distributes the glue onto the nails. Apply the glue to the back of the static nails and to your own nails as well. One mistake I've seen other people, including myself, do while applying the nails is not allowing the glue to tack up for six seconds before putting them onto your nail. Once I moved on to applying the nails onto my right hand, it was a little tricky since my left hand is not my dominant hand. And also glued my finger onto the nails. Lastly, I filed my nails a bit to smoothen out the tips. The nails are customizable so you can file them and even change the shape if you want to. Although you can kind of see the air pockets, they kind of give off a marble type of design. So 
So even though I went through a few hiccups while applying these nails, I want to say that I am just really impressed at how long they've been able to hold up for. It has been two and a half weeks since I have applied these nails and I feel like I have put them through the test without even realizing that I was putting them through the test. I have closed drawer doors on them. I have banged three pound weights on them and for some reason, somehow, they are okay. None of them have broken on me. None of them have popped off on me and what more can you ask for with press on nails? So this is what my nails are looking like right now. As you can see, there's like two lines, one over here and also one on this nail as well. That is where I closed my cupboard doors. And honestly, I thought they were going to break on me and I looked at them and I was like, oh, they still on they said hold up we are here to stay and they're still here and so i was just really impressed by that i mean like you can still obviously kind of see the air bubbles but from afar you really can't see them at all and obviously there is some nail growth over there so you know i gotta redo them pretty soon but I have gotten so many compliments on my nails and people have been loving them. There's one thing that has been bugging me since applying these nails and it's nothing on aesthetic nails and it's how I applied them. They are either air bubbles underneath or it's just the glue and I know it's just how I applied them. But I really do want to cover them up because it's been bothering me. I can see it and I know not everyone can see it but i can and so i do want to cover them up so to my surprise static nails has sent me a few of their nail polishes from their new collection mad happy so here they are flamingo rum club on the bright side cabana boy little beach house major hollow i'm not too sure which color i want to paint my nails just yet so comment down below which one of these colors from the mad happy collection i should apply onto these nails and paint my nails so i will no longer be annoyed by the glue there you guys have it that was my little review on aesthetic nails reusable pop on manicures if you guys enjoyed give this video a thumbs up comment down below if you have tried press on nails ever i want to know about them and if you like press on nails and if you haven't already subscribed go do that right now and we'll see you in the next video bye guys